Hi everyone, this is Crypto Research. In this video, I'm going to be getting into our daily update for the VeChain token. If you are enjoying this daily content, make sure to go and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and definitely do go and check out that Discord group and the Twitter, and I'll make sure to leave links to both below. This is the VeChain token on a daily time frame, and you can see that I've got the Fibonacci reverse retracement tool in here, and I've got this um, Fibonacci retracement in actually on the wave two, right at the bottom of the wave two is where this one level is, and the zero levels are right at the top of this wave three. And basically what this does is it measures the wave 4 in comparison to the wave 3. And I know that a lot of people don't like to use these levels on their uh, on their technical analysis. And this is why I have an edge on the market because I'm using different levels. Therefore, I'm seeing different things and I'm making different trades. So this is why I've got an edge on the market to other people because I like to switch things up a little bit. But you can see that this uh, 0.236 level is something that I've been looking at for a very long time. And this is actually where that 12.8 cent region comes in. Now this 12.8 cent region has undoubtedly been a very key um, area in uh, the price action for VeChain, especially in the past couple of days. And you can see that this has actually been where we've been finding our resistance. And currently we are finding a really nice support where we have actually been anticipating on that 11.5 cent region. And this 11.5 cent region is where we were finding a support ever since uh, the 17th of August. And we have actually been um, finding the resistance there as well on the 11th and 12th of August. So you can see that we're turning previous resistance levels into new support. So that's always going to be a really bullish sign. We did a temporarily fall below that 20 EMA on the daily yesterday, but you can see that we started the day off really nicely and we're actually above that 20 EMA right now. I'm going to share with everyone on the 4 hourly time frame why I do think we do have a trade towards that 12.8 uh, cent region, around a 4% long trade, but this is um, this is uh, all relative to something on the 4 hourly time frame, so I will get into that shortly. But I just wanted to say to everyone that if we were actually to see a, a bearish scenario where we did find a resistance uh, potentially at this 0.236 level and we were to actually fall below this 11.5 cent, that our next uh, support level would be this 10.7 cent region. And this is an area which had been a support on the 11th of August, the 12th of August, and also when we back tested for continuation on the 13th of August. So I just wanted to make everyone aware of that as I thought it was uh, really important. And one thing that I want to share with everyone in this daily time frame as well is that we do have this decrease in volume. You can see that essentially this is why we've seen this nice um, decrease in the RSI. We've managed to reset it really nicely. We're currently on that 55 level. That 55 level is on a really comfortable area where you do actually um, have a bit of room to the upside. And we're currently seeing this uh, Stotch RSI coming into this oversold territory on that momentum. And essentially this is becoming overextended. Now with this Stotch RSI, I do like to see a little turn. When you usually see a little turn like that, I usually enter the trade at this level if we are holding nice support levels and we are actually above that 20 EMA and if we're taking out nice resistances like we currently are um, and currently are in the past few days I mean um, and this is definitely something uh, which I'm going to be paying attention to. So you can see that if I do just um, retrace it all the way back just to this uh, wave 4 when we did see ourselves overextended on this, um, on this stock chart side like last time. Um, if we did see that little um, curve, we start, started to see us come into that comfortable range. This is where we actually saw that breakout. And again, if I look at this, um, where it happened before in June, you can see that if you had have had that curve, this was actually our breakout. And you can see that this is a uh, consistent with a price action. This isn't just um, with this price action here. You can see again when we were on that 27th of May, if you had a bought at this level and you'd have sold when we were coming down, and this is what you do basically, um, you would have actually got the breakout and you'd have sold at the top. So I'm just trying to share with everyone that this is definitely something um, to be paying attention to for the VeChain uh, price action. And I'm just going to get into the 4 hourly time frame now and share with you why we do potentially have a 4% long trade. So this is the 4 hourly time frame and you can see that this candle here is currently open. We're trending around that 12.3 cent region and I've given everyone a long trade and um, a potential scenario of around 4% towards this next resistance of that 12.8 cent region. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for this um, candle here. It's got another it's got another hour and a half uh, just before it closes. But if you were to see a close above that 20 EMA, I would actually be long in the trade to the next resist to the next uh, resistance level. So that's a really nice trade for anyone who's not in V chain at the minute. And if you were to actually see candles closing above this 12.8 cent, and you saw it consistently with maybe two or three candles, you would actually be going towards this next resistance of around um, around seven percent away, which is actually on that 13. 0.7 cent and then if you were to get above that 13.7 cent you'd be going towards that um 5% trade from there towards that 14.4 uh, 
far scent region and this is where we had been finding the resistance um, for quite a long time this had actually been where we find, found a resistance on the 4th of June as well um, and we had been finding the resistance there as well on the 16th of August so basically this is an area that we are looking to back test if we do manage to get above that 14.4 cent region I will actually be longing towards that 17.4 if we manage to get above that, we're looking towards that 19.7. And then if you get above that, you're looking at the 21 cent, the 23 cent, and then our all-time high. So that's the process for VeChain. We're currently finding a really nice support in that 11.5 cent region. It's looking um, really nice at the minute. You can see that we're only seeing that one candle there on the... Um, on the, this four hourly time frame in both occasions uh, which were actually closing on that level you weren't seeing us like testing that support very often you found that support the bulls bought us up straight away with this buying pressure you can see here with that buying pressure and here with that buying pressure so you can clearly see that we are getting bought up from that clear support level and um, so that's actually a really nice trade so well done to anyone who did get in at that 11.5 cent uh, yesterday as we did say that if you saw the candle close above do make sure to go in long so if you are above this 20 of may you are going to be going on for continuation and if you do close above it right here you are going to be going towards this 12.8 cent so we are definitely looking really nice for v chain i'll make sure to get into that weekly time frame um, tomorrow but i did do two two uh, v chain updates yesterday in our v chain day so do go make sure to check them out if uh, you do want to look at that weekly time frame but we are definitely looking really nice for v chain at the minute we're finding really nice support and we are going to go on for more continuation so thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate everyone's support of this channel. Make sure to go and subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment where, where you actually bought uh, VeChain, I'd be very interested to see where people bought VeChain. Make sure to go and uh, subscribe on our, sorry, make sure to go and follow us on uh, Twitter, make sure to go and join that Discord, and also make sure to have a really great day.